Good morning, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And President Trump, former President Trump, that is, was an attempted assassination yesterday in Pennsylvania uh, that nearly cost him his life. Uh, as you can see, after the attempted assassination where the bullet grazed his ear, he comes up shaking his fist, uh, showing that he's a fighter and he's not going to quit regardless of what the attempts are on his life there. <clears throat> the shooter was identified uh, as Matthew Crooks. He's a 20-year-old young man uh, who said he hated Republicans and a few other things on his social media account. But what really gets me when I look at this assassination attempt, we're going to play a clip here in just a moment of the assassination, though, uh, is that how did this happen in the first place? We're going to go to that in just a moment. Let me first play for you the clip here uh, that was posted here uh, of that assassination attempt here. Listen, to, you'll hear the gunfire ring out, so listen closely. Wait a minute, sorry. There's three gunfire. And there's several more gunfire. And I, I have a feeling the several more gunfire was probably when they shot him. Um, they're covering him up. Of course, they were screaming at them. Another gunfire. The other gunfire may have been them shooting him. I think it's interesting when he comes up, he doesn't want to leave his shoe behind. Tells the people to fight. You can see his ears a little bit bloody there. All right, now I want to take though. Let's quickly let's double back over here. We'll look at uh, where Republican world is talking a little bit about this man that shot him. Uh, the attacker and uh, he is identified as a Pennsylvania local that's the big update we're getting to you right now viewers and uh, the FBI in this press briefing has just said that they are not close to identifying the motive however the pictures have uh, come in the shooter has been identified as uh, Thomas Crooks and uh, Thomas uh, Crooks is the man in this picture to the right of his screens Thomas Matthew Crooks is the one who uh, was the shooter, the one who uh, attacked, fired seven shots at the Pennsylvania rally of Donald Trump. And uh, he had no ID on him. That is uh, what we know. He did not have any ID on him. Now, well, like they're saying, he's the one that fired the seven shots. And then I finally heard when we were listening to the video just now, uh, just a moment ago there, a little bit later, there's another shot fired, which undoubtedly is the shot that actually took his life. Uh, the thing, though, that really bothers me especially at a Trump, at any kind of rally, rally of a president or former president or a candidate of a president, is I, want, I was really curious and I finally found, this is where they, they shot him. Uh, he's on this rooftop here. Uh, what I wanted to see was what the aerial photo was. Here it is right here. This is the aerial photo. The stage, as you can see, is pinned there on your screen. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Let me see if I can blow that up here real quick. Um, okay, let me close that out. There's, there's snipers there that are on rooftops there. They were in behind President Trump on rooftops there in the event they were to deal with something going on. Um... And then uh, we have, let's see here. Whoop. 
Oh, looks like somebody else may have gotten shot as well. Blood right there. Didn't know about that. A bleacher covered with blood at the Trump rally in Pennsylvania. Somebody else must have got shot, and we didn't. We don't know about that as of yet. So we'll have to figure out what that is. Um, I can. Im I was wondering about that too, because so many bullets just flying everywhere, right? And let's see here. Well, that's kind of crazy. Why are we not seeing the? Maybe me making this blow up messed up the ability to see that aerial footage. So let me back it back out a little bit here. Yeah, so somebody else obviously was shot. And they were shot pretty bad to have that much blood there on the bleachers. Hmm. Yeah, so we'll have to find out who else got shot. Somebody like they may have been mortally uh wounded there all right oh goodness where is that there it is all right so the stage is in the middle of this field there it looks like it's a, a an airport runway there there were snipers in behind there on there but this gunman was on top of this warehouse 130 yards away from the president when he started firing. That rooftop should have been covered by Secret Service. They should have known. Any types of rooftops is always a dangerous place for a sniper to be. Even inside of windows and stuff like that, the building should have been secure. So my question is, was it just a mishap? Was it a mistake that someone made in their security detail? Or was that security detail intentionally left open? Was it left open because somebody there was paid off to make sure it got left open? Uh, that's a very interesting uh, thought. And uh, it looks like besides the president, someone else in this crowd there probably paid an ultimate price there not just the president. So that also kind of shows us, though, that the the shooter was real. I know some people are probably going to be jumping up and down and saying, oh, it's fake, it's fake, it's fake. Well, evidently, it's not fake because we got another person that lost a lot of blood at the scene there. Uh, so I'm sure we'll be hearing about that pretty soon as well. I'm Stephen Benet. Oh, by the way, one other issue, too, I want to cover real quick before we close out. Ben Gavir. Uh, the extreme right winger uh, in Israeli uh, Netanyahu's cabinet, uh, they are saying he's already making uh, marking Ben Gavir as Netanyahu's potential successor in a poll. In a post Netanyahu era, Edmar Ben Gavir leads right wing candidate support. The national camp of Likud see minor uh, seat changes. Survey includes 500 respondents. If that man becomes prime minister of Israel, you want to talk about a genocide that will happen in that country of unprecedented amount. It would be a true bloodbath. Netanyahu is nothing compared to Ben Gavir. Uh, anyway, we'll be watching that very closely for you. I'm Stephen Benun. You're listening to Israeli News Live.